Well, when you think about everything South by Southwest brings to Austin, the music, films, and keynote speakers, uh, you're probably the first thing that come to mind. But a company, one company here, aims to go beyond that and spread a culture of good. Ryan McCartney, he is the founder, and he joins us to talk about this campaign. First, Ryan, let, let's talk about your, your company. What is yeah. it? What do you do? So, so real quick, Culture of Good teaches for-profit companies how to operate their business with the soul of a nonprofit. Oh, okay. So typically we would see a nonprofit having a big heart and wanting to do good in the world, and for-profits many times are looked at as being selfish and greedy. Mm -hmm. So bringing those two together and saying you can be a for-profit company and care about the world and do amazing good. Okay, heart of nonprofit, head of business. Exactly. Boom. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I got it. Okay, so now um, you're you're going to be presenting at South by Southwest, uh -huh. but you want that to spin off into something else. Let's talk about what you're going to be presenting about first and when you're going to do that. Yeah, so we're celebrating the launch of our company, Culture of Good, as well as a book that we published, Build a Culture of Good. So Sunday evening at 5 p.m., we'll be presenting uh, a book reading and a book signing um, at the convention center. Okay. So we have that. The reason we're here is to create a movement at South by Southwest where we could leverage everyone who's an attendee to do good while they're here. I see. So you're banking on the 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 population boom yes. to Austin to reach as many people as you can. Yeah, so the idea is anytime we go out of our way at South by Southwest to do good for someone else, a kind act, if you take a pic or hashtag on, on Twitter or social media, uh, culture of good, mm -hmm. uh, then we will take a hundred backpacks full of school supplies and give them to students across the country. Oh, so nice. for every hashtag, every culture of good hashtag, we're donating a hundred backpacks with school supplies to students. Okay, let's delve into the culture of good. Yes. What is it? So it started as a movement at TCC, which is the largest Verizon retailer across the country, and this was four years ago, and it was leveraging all their employees to do good in their local communities. And it's grown and it had such an impact on the business of TCC that now we're introducing that to other companies and businesses, like I said earlier, to say this is a great way to operate your business because um, because it leverages your employees and it engages them in a, in a way that gives them meaningful work. Mm -hmm. It also brings customers into that conversation and, and includes them in that culture. And so it builds the business, and as the business grows, the commitment of the company is to continue to do greater good. Got it. But when you say good, I mean, yes. to me, good is so vague and vast, yeah. right? I mean, because yeah. I washed the dishes yesterday, and I'm thinking, I did something good, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's not, <laughs> <laughs> and it was. Yeah. It, but it's not just that. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you're saying take this to people who really need it. And so what are some of the examples of people going out and doing something for yeah. somebody else, yeah. not just so, washing the dishes? For sure. So over the last three months, we've been on a bus. Um, I'm taking a tour bus across the country, coast to coast, and we're giving back to teachers. We're raising awareness to the fact that teachers are spending over $500 out of their own pocket mm -hmm. for school supplies. And so we have these supply kits that are sent out to companies and they go into the schools, classroom to classroom, no sales gimmicks, no come back and do business with us, just simply going in and caring and mm -hmm. saying thank you to these teachers. And it's creating disruptive moments. It kind of shocks the system of a company and of an employee where they can go in and face to face care about someone else and do good. Yeah, without wanting somebody to pass them a buck. Exactly. So what, what's been the response from businesses about this culture? It's of huge. Good? So we just launched a couple months ago and uh, we have several companies and businesses that are saying, what's your secret sauce? We want to build culture. We want to engage our millennial employees. We want to engage our customers. How do we do this? And we're saying, don't do that siloed off as a business. Bring all of those things together and that creates the culture within your and business. And my producer's wrapping, but I got one more question yes. because then, then that, when you feel good about what you've done, then you bring that to work and that has a spin off higher Inside, yeah, yeah uh, employee retention so it has it makes business sense but also makes sense for the world got it really quickly how can folks get this book uh, it's on Amazon okay and uh, it's Kindle available build a culture of good and they can go on cultureofgood.com okay all right yep. <laughs> have fun this weekend thank you so minus much. the rain <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> right. Ryan McCarty thank you so much for joining us still to come